Hello there, Tanya Cardwell here from Pavlov. I want to shoot a quick video on the increase in demand for dog training. There has been a significant boom in demand for dog training both here in Denver Metro and I would assume nationally and most likely internationally. So I want to give you my thoughts for why this is going on both locally and also on a larger scale. Regarding home base 5280, our mile high city, the last couple of years, we have seen a significant increase in human population. So 2014, we had 68,000 people move to Denver. 2015, we were forecast to get 85,000, instead somewhere between 115 and 120,000 migrants came to the Mile High City. So clearly anytime you have an increase in population, you're gonna have an increase in demand for all of the services for that population. Regarding the niche, the genre of people migrating to Denver, it is not a random sample of the U.S. population. It's not. Um, it's not a. It's not a across the board ran, um, consistent cut of of ages, socioeconomic incomes, education levels. And if you would indulge me and allow me to put them in a box and label it, that label would look like primarily post-collegiate 20s to 30 year olds, millennials and younger, um, a little bit of early 40s. Um, and these are people who tend to come not only with some education under, under their belt, but some expendable income. They're either coming for jobs or a lot of them have jobs that allow them to telecommute and because so many of the new modern techie jobs allow one to telecommute, they can set up camp really anywhere that tickles their fancy. So fortunately, that niche of people tend to be the same niche of people who have a fairly high demand for dog training, <laughs> which is one reason why we're seeing such a major increase. Regarding the international increase in demand, Couple reasons for the boom. For one, we're going on 10, 11, 12 years of Hollywood dog training. We've seen Caesar Milan and similar dog trainers show us through television that if we have a dog that has an issue, we're not tethered to that issue for life. Dogs are hardware that requires software and downloading <laughs> and I almost feel like there's a sense of ownership in training dogs that may have not been as strong, say, seven or eight years ago. The last reason I see an increase in demand is really the need to connect in general, just the need to con connect with another life form that can be consistent. Our culture is so transitory. There's so much moving um, relationships. I suspect are coming and going more frequently than they have in generations past. You know, people coming in and out of our lives, we have to move from point A to B to follow work. But a dog can be consistent. You can bring your dog, right? It's like a consistent connection. And I think that's I think that's a big reason why we're seeing so many more people have dogs and investing in their dogs. So those are my thoughts on the matter. If you have any additional thoughts, leave them in the comments below or you can reach out to me. All right, thank you for listening. Ciao, ciao.